What's going on today, buddy? It is your boy, Aaron's World. Welcome back at it with a brand new video today. Um, today is a very special one. Interesting. Interesting one about J Station. Now, I'm J Station. Everyone knows who I'm J Station is. He does these fake 3 a.m. YouTube videos for whatever reason. I just think he does it for entertainment purposes. Everyone knows he's fake. Everyone. You know, everyone knows he's fake. But recently, um, he's been uh, doing, um, as you may know, he has his girlfriend, quote unquote, passed away um, due to a drunk driver. Now, everyone is speculating, well, it's pretty known that she isn't dead. She isn't dead, and that's just the truth. She's still alive, and there's proof. I have proof to show you. And there's some other things that prove that she is not. But before we get into all that, let's get meme of the day. Roll it. Salt check. Okay, guys. Today we got um, J Station's uh, stuff about J Station. Yes. As um, horrible as a human he may be. We gotta get into this. Because this is just insane. There, I have some proof that she is alive. So, in his new recent video, called Face Timing um, the, uh, the uh, Tooth Fairy at 3 a.m. video. And it caught my eye, caught my attention to when um, he actually FaceTimed the Tooth Fairy. And you could totally tell with the voice that this was, um, is Alexia. And, and it is modified. The voice is modified. And a lot of you will question, how do you know that's Alexia? Well, there is another video. And I will do a comparison. I'm going to bring up the comparisons and stuff. That you can totally, in the, in another video, sorry, in another video, going to the button world or something at 3 a.m. She puts on this weird, high-pitched, terrible... The video was cringe. I watched it. It was cringe. Um, terrible, high-pitched voice on for, the, for her button character. Okay, guys. Just listen to this. Yeah, it's very rotten. Do you want to see it? Yeah, Okay, here it is. Right here. Look at that. Okay, so you hear that. Now, let's get to the button world. Listen to this. It's really different about you today. You're not acting the same. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. I don't know. I don't think so. So listen to that. And then, yeah, it sounds literally the exact same thing. Ow. Yeah, it's very rotten. Do you want to see it? Yeah, Really different about you today. You're not acting the same. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. It sounds the same, but in the Tooth Fairy video, they obviously her voice is modified somehow. The pitch is different from that. Within itself, is proof that she's alive. Okay, so in in another video from the God of News, he got in contact with J Station Alexia's friend from school and got screenshots of text messages Alexia's friend texting Alexia due to um, you know wondering what's going on and um, the police even got involved and Alexia goes on to say that she is not okay with what has happened I'll go into the I'll go into what I think 
after um, I roll these screenshots. These screenshots are not mine. These are from the God of News, his cha his YouTube channel. Um, I got in contact with I'm Jason's girlfriend on Facebook. So these were on Facebook and uh, not the text on Facebook to see if she was alive. She responded, and th this video that he has goes into way better detail um, than me. So his link will be in the description. But let's roll these screenshots. Enjoy the screenshots. And so there's one particular screenshot I want to talk about where she goes on to say that she is not happy with what's going on. She tells her friend that she's okay. And so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, at first, I was thinking, if she isn't okay with this, I am thinking that Jace J did this against her will. Maybe he brought up the idea, he's like, hey, you know, we want to get this channel, their Dream Team channel, up to a million subscribers. Um, they were, he was trying to come up with an idea and was like, hey, we should fake your death. She didn't like that idea. So they get in an argument or something about it, and then Jay was finally back down and was like, okay, okay, we won't. But in his head, he's like, I'm just going to do this without you knowing. And so he's like, okay. So what does he do? Sends her out. Go pick up stuff for a 3 a.m. video that they're going to do. While she's gone. Because it looks like when he filmed his, you know, video of him saying that she's dead. She died. While she's gone, he goes and records this video without her knowing and posts it. And Ahmed Mo did the same thing. But I'm guessing then this which made me to believe that if this if Ahmed's was recorded beforehand, he had this premeditated is what got me thinking. And he already was gonna do this and he brought it up to her even when Ahmed Mo posted something about, you know, made a video, maybe he didn't post it because then people would have questioned because he lives with her. And so maybe they he made he filmed his before, and then they were gonna post it. I because I believe they posted it on the same day, regardless of the time posted. They both posted these videos without her knowledge. In his intro, what's going on, guy? He's like, oh, what's going on, guys? Uh, showed no. This is my first video without Alexia or a second or whatever, right? Didn't didn't even seem to care. Why? Because she was in that video. She just was. She is the Tooth Fairy. And then some of you are saying, if she didn't want to do this, why was she in the Tooth Fairy video then? That is true. In which raises the thought of also another theory, is maybe she was like, okay, let's do it. And maybe she really did to go out on what so they could film these whatever, these videos. She then realizes she made a serious mistake and was like, hey, this was a terrible idea and now she's laying low or what have you or simply what if because this has been said that Jay even because somebody called her I can't remember the exact video somebody called um, Alexia but who was on the other line Jay and so these texts simply could have been from Jay because he is a manipulative, controlling, <sighs> dude. Sick dude. So be, be this against her will, be it not. He is still willing to do pretty much anything for views. Regardless, are you to blame? Maybe. For dating this manipulative... manipulative 
controlling guy. Um, maybe. But at the end of the day, Jay, you're not the greatest human being in the world. And that's all I have to say about it. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining in for that today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. And I will see you in the next one. Watch it all land, just hold on tight. Wake up in my arms on the other side.